of your people, of your family, of your sisters, of your kinfolks, all those people. And I promise you, the moment your feet touches the ground, the moment your eyes wake up and you realize that you are awake, Satan got a plan for you. So that's why it is very important to pray. That's why it's very important to thank God for waking you up in the morning to say that you acknowledge God for waking you up. Give him that because he's going to give you that and more. He's going to pour into you. So make sure you reciprocate that energy. As much as you ask God to help you out, reciprocate that energy. When you lay your head down at nighttime on that pillow, make sure you pray. Because as you sleep, the devil is busy. The devil is keeping busy, keeping tabs on you so he can finish what he started. And I promise you, he ain't going to stop till he finish what he started. So that's why you got to be in constant prayer. That's why you got to be in constant with things. And once you start healing, get away from the people that don't mean you no good. Get away from the music that don't mean you no good. It's okay to have a good time, but music tells a lot about a person. The people who you hang around tells a lot about them. Even your partner. Being in a relationship with a partner that could potentially drain you will ultimately drain you till you have nothing left in you. Your partner could be your enemy the whole time. Once you pray and you ask God to remove these people and you start arguing with your husband, and you start arguing with your, your wife, and you like, God, what's going on? I pray. But you like, God, I prayed and I asked you to remove these people. And before you know it, God removed those people out of your life. But you wonder why you and your husband and your wife keep going back toe to toe. You don't have to sit there and find information when somebody is doing you wrong because it's going to come to you. It's going to come to you full circle and you're wondering what's going on. God is working. God is healing. That is what God looks like when he's working for you. But you don't see that because that's not what you ask for. But God is giving you what you ask for. You got to sit down and you got to keep You got to keep your eyes peeled. Because I promise you. They will trick you about your shoes and they will manipulate you and gaslight you yes, to the yes, until yes. you believe them. Yes, speak, the person, Lord, speak. Spouse or no spouse, any relationship, they will sit there and cry in your face. They will cry a river yes. just to get you to agree <laughs> with them, just for you to not remember what they did. Yes, that happened people to me. People are intentional people. They know exactly what they're doing. Yes, that happened to me. Like, come on, now. Thank you, Z the mommy. Thank you, Chef. I don't think he's still in here. Thank you, Ghost Gifter. Thank you, Designs by Charlie. And thank you, Sean Lisa. Thank y'all so much for the gifts. When I tell you, and it don't matter what age you are, you stick and pray and you stick and ask God for that wisdom and that knowledge. People be surprised in the wisdom and the knowledge that I got. I pray for it. I pray for it. I ask for it. I never sit up there and ask for the materialistic things. Of course, occasionally I want those things because in order to live, you got to survive off of some kind of income, right? But for the most part, I pray for that wisdom. I pray for that knowledge because in situations in life, that is what is going to get me out of whatever it is that I'm in. If I'm having a conversation with somebody and I don't agree with them, I don't have to sit there and argue with them because I know that they are fools. And if I have somebody and I don't agree with them, whatever it is, if you believe that, then that's what you believe. If whatever you're doing been working for you all this time, keep doing it. If you don't feel like you need to grow, stay where you at, but don't stunt my growth. And sometimes that's the problem with people. People are so comfortable in the position that they're in that they don't grow. And if you're not okay with being uncomfortable, you're going to stay in the same situation, in the same spot that you're in. If you don't feel the need to go out your comfort zone, you're going to, you're going to get everything that you've been getting. If you want an apartment or you want something and you're not doing whatever it takes to get that, you're not going to get it. You're sitting around and you've been envious to other people and what they're doing, but they're putting in the work. How are you mad for people putting in the work? You don't want to be uncomfortable. And I promise you that look of uncomfortability is very hard. 
you want this car, but you're not willing to put in the work. You want to finally get off the streets, but you're not willing to put in the work. God sees that you're trying if you are trying. You can go through years and years and years and years of affliction, but keep moving. Keep going. Sometimes people fight a good fight, and they fight a good fight for like a week. They fight a good fight for like a month, for a year, even five years, even ten years, and they're like, hey, God, I done fought too much. I ain't even fighting no more. I'm tired. I done fought all these years, and I've been asking you to help me out, and you still ain't help me out. You watching me struggle. Mm -hmm. God will never sit right there and watch you struggle, baby. But God will tell you that you got to go through this pain and this affliction, and I got something for you, but I'm a double it, but I'm a triple it. But you got to show me that you're ready. You got to put in the work. I got to see that you got the faith of a mustard seed. You round here pump making, telling these people that you got faith of a mustard seed, but you ain't even buying it. You ain't even moving for real. Like, what's up with you? You got faith, but Come soon on as now. I give you a test, soon as I give you something, you running, you folding. Come on now. But you want this? Yes. Want this? <laughs> Come on now. You said you wanted a new, you wanted a house, right? So I got you a job that makes three times the rent so you can get this apartment. But you're sitting here talking about the, the person at your job that you don't like. Are you ready for this? Right. You said you wanted to elevate. So now you found that your spouse was cheating on you. But are you ready for this? Your grandma just died and, and that was the only person that you had. But God had to, had to make that happen. Are you ready for this? <laughs> you had miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage and you thought that this baby was going to be your rainbow baby but you still had another miscarriage but are you ready for this that is how God works but the question is are you ready yes are you ready are you ready for all those no's all those doors to be closed in your face are you ready are you still going to get up like you haven't been knocked down are you still ready to get up no matter what by any means necessary are you still gonna push with all gas no brakes are you ready are you equipped it are you ready to fight that's the question so while you sitting here praying for all these things pray and ask god to make sure you ready pray and ask god to make sure you ready for this battle stay in prayer yes you still talk to god you still god is going to always keep his covenant with you so you keep your promise with god and exactly. then when God give you what you ask Are you still going to talk to him after he gives you, you what you want? If you're not, it's gonna then... It's going to become hard to keep. You're going to start maybe self-sabotaging you yourself. You're going to start second-guessing yourself. You're going to ask, is this meant for me? God, I can't even do it. I got this apartment now. I got this faith now. But they done went up on my rent, God. They done went up on my rent. And I know you gave me a job so I can make three times the rent. But I just bumped into a problem and I ain't got it. And they just went up on my rent. But are you ready? What? Are, are you, you ready? ready? They done went up on your rent two hundred dollars, and you you ain't asked for this. Are but you in ready? But in reality, you did. You got to be ready for whatever's to come. So your prayer goes deeper than that. So very, be very specific in your prayer and stand on everything that you're asking God for, and make sure you're having that open line of communication, and you are really saying whatever it is that you want. I'm not God, like, I don't know this far. I got my food. Um, but are you going to do your cooling part? Cooling should be ready right now. You can't I just say I got the faith and you ain't got the faith because if you ain't putting in the work, then, the work, then you ain't got it. You ain't got it, baby. You say I'm praying every day. What work are you doing? Whenever, y'all, whenever I go to feeling bad for myself or whenever I go to thinking whatever it is, I be like, well, what is it that I did today that's going to help me get to where I'm going? I be like, you ain't do nothing. You did not contribute that one time to the goal that you said you, you you had for yourself. So what you crying about? Before you go to asking God to do his part, to do his big one, or whoever you believe in, before you go to asking them that, ask yourself that you really do something to help you further yourself. It don't matter what it is. If you got a small business, did you promote your business today? Did you try to get a sale? Or did you feel bad for yourself and feel like this was just one of those days? Like what it is. Ask yourself, did you did you do what you were supposed to do? Y'all, I'm 
gotta get ready to go, y'all. But I gave it to y'all. I hope I gave y'all what y'all was looking for. Thank you, Kayla, for the uh, follow. Y'all are so welcome. Y'all are so welcome. Remember, you got this. Everything is all right. Everything is in God's hands. And whenever you feel like it's out of control, be like, God got this. God got this. Like, God knew what was going on. We here. He got this. I can't handle this. But God, give me the strength to handle what it is that I can. Like I always say, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This situation that happened, I was never in control of the situation, God. There was nothing that I could do to stop it from happening. It's already here, so what can I do? What tools that I have do I have to control whatever it is that I can? They were going to cheat on me. They was going to argue with me. They was going to talk behind my back. They was going to say that I was good for nothing. They were going to do all these things. I could not control that. I realized that I was going to be a villain in somebody's story. So, hey, it is what it is. I cannot please everybody. I cannot make everybody happy. If I, if I say something and you don't agree with it, but somebody else agree with it, I'm not going to try to get you to agree with it because that means I'm not standing in my purpose. I'm not standing on what I feel, and you're not going to trick me out of my spot because I'm a firm believer in what I believe in. And I refuse to fold because of what you said. Mm -hmm. You don't agree with me, that's fine. That's fine, baby. If y'all need a 101, baby, make sure y'all DM me on TikTok. Uh, I will respond back to you. Um, yeah. I'm just let y'all know right now, the 101s are out with there for $65, but go ahead and say it, but it's 65 right now, but the price will go up. If that's something you're interested in, well, DM me and let me know when we can go from there. If you don't have the $65, it's okay, but that's the price, y'all. That's my price. I say I might well tell y'all how much it is, so that way y'all don't have to waste y'all time writing me. Well, waste my time, should I say? Okay, y'all. Well, I love y'all. I forgot to choose me. I wish video was there. I'm finna get ready to go, y'all. But I love y'all. I hope that y'all have an amazing Friday. I hope that y'all have an amazing weekend. I gotta get up in the morning, unfortunately. But whatever y'all do in life, make sure y'all be great at it. Make sure that you stand in your purpose and make sure you stand for something. Because if you don't stand for something, if you don't stand for yourself, you're gonna fall for anything. You're gonna fall for the okie doke and people gonna trick you out your spot. And whenever somebody trick you out of your spot, we already know what happens after that. So do you love yourself, put you first in everything. Any change you can get, put yourself first. People going to say you're selfish. People going to say you don't care about them, but that's okay. Because when you start working on yourself and you start doing you, people start saying you're funny. You don't care about nobody else. You start making a little money. Now you don't care about people. And they're going to say that you ain't humble. And they're going to say the, all this and they're going to say all that. And, and you're going to say and is. And is. You wish this was yeah. you, huh? <laughs> and it's not about it's not about being arrogant and stuff like that. It's just the fact that you work so hard to get where you are. Why would I allow you to make me feel sad for the hard work that I put in? Did you break bread with me? No. Mm -hmm. Like, let me have my moment, please. Um, y'all, if not, I may come live. I may come on live tomorrow. Um, people might be living their life tomorrow, might be enjoying their weekend. But I'll probably come on tomorrow, y'all. Have some videos for y'all. 
y'all have a safe weekend have a wonderful weekend and be blessed y'all and i thank y'all so much for the interaction i thank y'all for the gifts i thank y'all for the shares i thank y'all for the likes um just live life be happy boo i love you y'all know the creator loves y'all more and what i can't give y'all god can give all the more so whatever it is take your concern over god he got you love y'all